I attempt to continue in Group B, because, um... My brother might have had a match, but... I also have a match. Wait! I still haven't faced my brother. That means, round three, it's me versus my brother. So if I win... Then the match between us, the us two, decides who moves on to the next round and who doesn't. If I lose to Van Grants, then that's different. But if I win my match against Van Grants, it's actually my brother and I against each other to see who moves on. Kimono will be hoping that I win. Because if I win, Kimono is 100% certainly moving on. And Kimono will be the first one that qualifies. Kimono might still go on as the person who is second in the group by the end, but she'll 100% be in the top two. So Kimono will be hoping um, that Alk wins the next fight. So sibling rivalry in group B in round three, that will be the case no matter what. But if I win this match, the stakes will be all the higher. But to see if we actually get there, if we will get that important decider match between Alka and Renz in round three to see who moves on the next round, Alka first. I clicked the Coliseum again. Alka first has to beat Van Grants. And if Alka does, then Kimono moves on to the next round for certain. Van Grants is certain to not do that. And it'll be Alka versus Renz, the two brothers. To see who move on. Uh, my brother is younger. He is almost three and a half years younger than I am. Right, and just like in the last match, we're going to Main Street Coliseum again because the randomizer decided we're going to do Main Street Coliseum two in a row. All right, my second match. Let's see if my Pokemon will do well. If we get another Aqua Ring by Kolava, turn one against one of the two theme teams that I absolutely love that I hope will do well. No one has actually, at least when I'm live streaming this, hasn't been able to let me know what this entire theme of the team is. And it's not just in the Pokemon show, it's in the name, it's in a little bit in the character's design, although that's limited, it's in the character's name, it's in the Pokemon Chosen, it's in the Pokemon's nicknames, and it's even in some of the speech for the Van Grant's character. But let's look at that later. First, we have to have this match getting started. Fireboy Alka, advanced trainer, Van Grant's. Actually, I think I can up this a little more. Magmarashi, Miss Rose, Megamagi, Chupa, Heater, and Reiner. Largo, Dist, Arietta, Ligaretta, Sink, and Ash. Van Grant's losing last round against Renz. Alka losing the previous round against Kimono. Both will be looking for the first win because if whoever loses this is out of the tournaments, they will still play their round three match. But they will not be moving on to single elimination. All right, Kulav and Absol are on the field, but it's also Roselia and a Rose Raid. We already saw Yanma versus Yan Mega um, back in the first match of Group A this round in Random versus Green, but now in Alka versus Van Grants, Roselia against Rose Raid. Actually, both in the same spots as the Yanma and the Yan Mega were, which is interesting. Roselia starts us off. Reflect. Nice starting move. Physical attacks to deal only half the damage on the, to that side for five turns. Brick break. Energy ball. Good move to go for, especially when the reflect is up, but not on a grass poison up, which four turns resist the move. Largo. Fan Ooh, that's a flame wheel on Roselia. That's huge. You're right, Scorpio. Yep. Did you Google that? Or do you get the reference just from the name? Spikes. That can be pretty big. I think Spikes deals one... Eight. With one layer of Spikes, you can put up three. Layer resist. I think it's three layers of Spikes. 
and one layer is one eighth of the Pokemon's health when they come in. And I'm pretty sure all of uh, Van Grant's Pokemon are affected by spikes, because none of them fly or levitate. Let's see, Weavile, Lucario, Zangus, Arcanine. Yeah, none of them get hit. I googled it. Okay, you, but you did know it was from the series. You just didn't know which game. Okay. And that's Roselia just taking down the Rose Raid after a big flame wheel from Absol the turn before. Roselia didn't stand much of a chance, so Van Grants takes the lead. Magmar is Dragon Breath targeting the Rose Raid again with a special move again. <laughs> Making a lot of sense with Reflect up. Would be good to hit Brick Break on Napsol. Ooh, Rock Tomb, that's super effective. Also lowers the speed. But it's also 25% speed for the Rose right now, so that's decent. And Alk is about to send out a Pokemon that's based on his normal typing is super effective against both others. But it might just call out bubble and not do much. Rose Ray will not be moving first. I think it's Infernape. Yep. And Infernape starts off with Roar of Time! Showing the Absol that Rens used how it's done. I actually expected that to deal more damage. There's no light screen up and now Infernape doesn't have to skip a turn, but it's it's good damage. x are from Largo on Kulava. That's not very effective, but still a strong move. And Makmarashi. Fake out. Unfortunately, that doesn't work as it was in the first turn. And then diss the 25% chance that it cannot move. Which will make up, I guess, for the turn that Inferno now has to skip after using Roar of Time on the previous turn. Absol. Muddy water. That's not good on two fire types. That doesn't even hit their partner. Critical hit on Inferno, but we didn't see the animation of Kulava getting hit, so it missed. Kulava stays alive, but that was huge damage on Inferno, so not looking too good. Dragon Rush, Reflect is up, but that's still good damage. Making use of that Rose being more frail. Can't move again. And I, it's very likely that I gave Poison Point as the ability to... Rose Raid as opposed to Natural Cure. Because I think only on Misty's team, potentially on Chobin's team as well, I gave them the it, the moves that that in-game team normally has. But here, just the one that makes competitively the most sense. And Natural Cure will almost never apply, only in like U-turn, Whirlwind, Roar cases. I'm not even sure if that would apply with Whirlwind and Roar. Poison Point has a lot more chance to activate, so it's probably having po has Poison Point as the ability, in which case, Kulava is lucky that he didn't get poisoned. Or she. Stockpile, so defense increases for Infernape, which it's already been weakened quite a lot, so that's, it's not great, but like, it's not the worst move. I would prefer just to see some damage. damage. But Ton Pass from Largo. Absol getting out of here. So... Largo, the Absol goes to the very back. The very back of the team will be sent out after Ash. And in Largo's place, third fleet commander Arietta. Taking down some spikes, and because Absol will be sent in again later, they'll take spikes damage as well. Attack lowered on Kulava and Infernip, so physical attacks will do even less damage than they did with just the Reflect Up. So that Bullet Seed is going to deal absolutely no damage. It's also resisted and it hit only twice. I wonder if that how much damage that actually was. Frenzy Plant! It's resisted and the defense had a plus one stat change after Stockpile, but the Stab Frenzy Plant was enough. After two turns of not being able to get through the paralysis, Rose Raid takes a little bit of a revenge. Is at low HP though. Now we can actually calculate how much damage that bullet seed was. Because Spike's damage I think was one eighth. 
One eighth rounded down is 20 damage. So that would put um, Arcanine at 145. So yeah, that's one damage per bullet seed hit. So that actually two two damage, the minimum that bullet seed would do if it hits. Six four lead for Van Grants, although it is a slightly weakened Arietta, a very weakened Dist that is also paralyzed, and a little bit weakened Largo, I think. Here comes Chupa. Magmarashi, though, is at very low HP and has its physical attack lowered. Reflect is gone from the opponent's side, so physical attacks can deal some more damage. Now, let's see what happens. Chupa now going first, a little Pachirisu. Gust. A little bit of damage in Arietta. That, would, that might have actually KO'd Rose Raid, but that wasn't the target. Flame Wheel, stab move. Another flame move from the Pokemon in that slot to the Pokemon in this slot on Aukus team. Happened earlier with Absol against Roselia. What does Kulava have? Psycho Shift. Doesn't work because Kulava doesn't have a status ailment. Largo was full HP? Okay, thank you. Yeah, it won't have full HP again when it's sent in unless um, the spikes are gotten rid of, which can be done with Rapid Spin or Defog. But I don't think we've seen either move this tournament so far. The trainers haven't given their orders yet. Actually, I want to make Psycho Shift into like, I have a team with Psycho Shift. I was actually working on training up a team um, with, all with Natural Gift. Like one or two Pokemon maybe with Natural Gift. I decided to make a Natural Gift team as sort of a theme team for a, like separate videos, separate run-throughs of Coliseums. I wanted to do that, thought that would be pretty interesting. I have a Seeking and a Charizard so far, I haven't been working on the rest. But I want to make a Pokemon of Psycho Shift. Like, moves that you don't normally see much, but actually make them effective. Like, the Charizard I have, it could probably be better without Natural Gift with a different move, but... I want to make use of moves that you don't see that much. Thunder Shock deals a bit of damage to Rose Raid, makes it closer to getting KO'd, but... It's still there, and it actually gets to attack again. Poison Tail, that stab again after Frenzy Plant. Takes that Magmarash, that's 6 3. Auk doesn't like this. Like, he's happy that Van Grant's one of the themed teams he really likes. Well, he, I say now he as the character, but I, I, real Auk, likes Van Grant as a character because he loves the game that, uh, that, that he's from. One of his favorite video games of all time, probably. Probably in his top 5. I don't know. Yeah, that team is not doing well, but not here. The Van Grants will actually be facing Kimono in the final round, so that so that'll be interesting because Kimono isn't easy to defeat. All right, heater time. Flareon. We saw the mirror match Flareon v Flareon when Alka faced Kimono. Kimono came out on top there. What can Flareon do here? Chupa is, has been weakened a bit by Flame Wheel. But it does have extra defenses up thanks to Defend Order. Let's see what it can do, Chupa. Chupa calls... Bite. Not super strong, but that I think will take out Rose Raid. No Poison Point! No Poison Point! That's very good for Pachirisu. No timer on it. Alka KOs the first Pokémon on the other side. That being Rose Raid. Ariadne using Sunny Day, so the sun has been set up. Extra power for fire moves, lower power for water moves, solar beam is a one turn move, and things like Morning Sun. We'll do less than Ooh, Discharge. Resisted by Chupa, some more damage on Ariadne. Who gets paralyzed? 30% chance per Pokemon. Only Chupa, no. Now I'm not sure what, what is worse, if it would have been poisoned or paralyzed. That's unfortunate. Wouldn't have done that much. Actually, yeah, Flareon has decent special attack. I think it's. I think that's a 95 stat. Either that or the 100. No, I think it's a 95 stat. All right, Largo is listed third, but as I said, because it was switched out, it goes to the very back. There's no wet, uh, hail or sandstorm summoning abilities on this team, so Largo is just right at the back. Legretta comes up next. Poison would be worse, especially if the Pokemon stay, sticks around for a long time. But Patrice doesn't have move last. And has a chance to not attack. 
So we'll see what happens. Legretta gets hit. So Legretta is very fast. It's very strong, especially uh, physically anyway. But it's pretty frail in terms of HP and its defenses. And with the sun up, even a fire move like Ember would deal quite a lot of damage to it. Where a fighting move in general would deal major damage. So that's probably what um, Alk would want. Fighting move on Legretta, because that, that Legretta is easier to take out than the Arcanine. Hyper Voice! Both dam both get damage, critical hit on Chupa, so that ignores the def uh, special defense boost they've got from Defend Order. Arcanine, Fake Tears. Pretty much halving, well, effectively halving the special defense on Heater. So if it gets hit by, like, Hydro Pump, it's dead. Sludge. Decent damage on Weaver. Let's see if it gets poisoned. It does not. Chupa attacks through the paralysis. And uses present. It's a damaging present. It's a high damage one and it's a crit. Weaver isn't taken out, but Weaver from full HP went to just 20 HP after spikes, present, and sludge. So I would say that is a good turn for Alka. Hopefully that special defense drop on Heater. Will not be that bad. Flash fire though, so it does nothing on Flareon. I think it does only have flash fire in this. I think Guts is it's, is a hidden ability. And it, there's no hidden abilities in this game yet. Metronome from Weavile. Stealth Rock. That's one eighth of the damage uh, when they come in, and that hits Pokemon that fly as well. And Alka's final Pokemon. Actually, Alka only has one more Pokemon. That Pokemon takes normal damage from Rook, so that's one-eighth of the damage. Cross Poison on Arcanine. That might poison as well. Good damage using the physical attacks out of uh, Flareon. Making good use of its high stats. Chupa for Lick. Won't do much, but Lick has a pretty high chance of par uh, paralyzing. I would have li liked to see Weevil being taken out because that's pretty easy. But it does get paralyzed, so slower. Moves after Flareon. Not sure who has higher base speed, Weevil or Pachirisa, so who moves first out of those two. But Arietta will... Uh, Ligretta will now move up after both Arietta and... Uh, no. Ligretta will move after Arietta and Heater. So, Arietta the Arcana is currently the fastest Pokemon on the field. Hydro Cannon, but it's on Pachirisa. Let's get it. That would have been death. Absolute death. I think on heater. Actually, Sun was up, so it would have been weakened, but it's weak. It's special defense weak, and Anna's weak too. A judgment! I love that quote and how intense it is. Judgment has been dealt! Weavile taken down. Another Pokemon down on Van Grant's side. Alka wants to try and keep this up. Chupa does get fully paralyzed, but Weavile is down. That would be a good turn. Still a 4 3 lead. For Van Grant's and Chupa is very weak and paralyzed, just like the Rose Rate was on Van Grant's side earlier. Let's see, Arietta is a sitting dog this turn. <laughs> Almost literally. Alright, Sink is next. Takes one eighth of its damage by Spikes. So spikes early on is good, because they do often say, like, you might have big moves, you might have super small moves, but. Little bits of damage every turn by things like even struggle damage or super effective water gun or a sludge. A bit of damage a few turns in a row does mean a KO in the end. You can't expect to have flamethrower and frenzy plant and psychic every turn. So a bit of damage every turn works and just have to having that one eighth of damage already on four Pokemon that come in. Well in this case five because Absol was switched out by Baton Pass. Is useful. Alka can make use of that. Arcanine can't move. Lucario, after that, the fastest one. Razor Leaf. That's not that much damage, but it is enough to take a Chupa. 4 to 2. Heat it with Metrum. That does mean that. Heater can't be switched out, which means it won't take stealth or damage. Surf. 
Sun might be active, but it's still damage on Lucario and super effective on Arcanine, so that's nice. And... Permanent Weather. Because Alka's final Pokemon is a Tyranitar. Just like one-eighth of its health has damage to the Stealth Rock. But Permanent Weather is now up with Sandstorm. And unlike in... Um, the Alka's GF vs. Akko fights back in uh, Group A two matches ago, this, there's no Airlock on the field. Sandstorm will deal damage. Now, unfortunately, this also damages to Flareon. But it's also damage to Arcanine. No damage on Lucario because the Steel type, Steel Ground, and Rock aren't hit by the Sandstorm. Um, but the Sandstorm will affect the final Pokemon that is on Van Grant's team, and it will also affect Largo when it comes back in. But Alka will just want to take out some Pokemon. I think optimally he would want both Pokemon to hit into Sync, because Arietta would go down. Um, what do we say it was one sixteenth? Just 10, 10 HP. Actually, two Sandstorm hits on Arietta would leave it with one HP, so they want to hit Arietta with one move. But oh, yeah, that does actually get hit. By Sandstorm. Where Sync does not. Sync bites on Flareon, trying to make it flinch. And then also bring it closer to Sandstorm, taking it out. Thunder Wave, paralyzing Sync. That's probably good. But Alka doesn't want to see a 2v1 scenario, because then it's very likely he'll lose. Tyranitar, actually the slower one right now, Lucario will after the Paralysis. Tail Glow. Two stages of special attack increase. If Tyranitar actually starts making use of that special attack, then that could be super useful. 11 HP on Arietta. And Heater had not that much more HP, I think it'll survive for one more. Yeah. Now, Wish, does it heal the next... I think he... Wish does heal the next turn? Mm, yeah, it is at the end of the next turn, so... This is something. You know how I said that you might want to target Sync? Um, Alka's Pokemon target the Arcanine, because if you don't take it out this turn, I don't know which goes first, Wish or Sandstorm, but that doesn't matter, because Sandstorm won't take out Arietta. It'll heal for half of his HP. We don't want that. One of you at least hit Arcanine. Just both target Arcanine, and whoever, and the second one that targets Arcanine when Arcanine's already gone, just target Lucario. Arcanine does go first. Take yourself out, because then Wish doesn't work either. Poison Fang. Please don't poison. It'll be resisted. Please don't damage. No, please don't poison. Ah, badly poisoned. Starts on the timer. Start with lower health, but from fourth turn onward, it'll be more than what regular poison would have done at that point. Bulk up. No, Flareon. Not only does that not matter much because you're going to go down to Sandstorm next turn, it also means that Arcanine gets to wish. No, wait, no, not yet. Tyranitar. Take on Arcanine. That's Needle Arm on Arcanine! 11 damage? 11 damage! It's gone. Wish is cancelled. That is very, very good news. Here comes Sync Featherlands lowering the attack stat of Tyranitar. So Tyranitar is now at halved physical attack, but doubled special attack. Heater! Wants to recover, or rest, or morning sun, or anything like that. Preferably recover over morning sun and moonlight, because morning sun and moonlight are weakened by sandstorm. It will go down to sandstorm next turn, and it'll be two of you on scenario. Here comes Ash from Van Steam, the only one that is um, that hasn't been seen yet this match. Takes one eighth of its health due to spikes. This is a very important turn for Alka, because not only will he to go down to sandstorm. This turn, if nothing is done to heal it, to heal it, Reiner is on a timer, and that timer, it it'll keep dealing more damage every turn because it's toxic poison. Ash moves first, the one that with the most health. Drill pack on Tyranitar. 
Eh, not that much damage. Tarantula team can't win. It's unlikely, but we've seen weird things already in this. Flareon, your final chance. Mega kick. So it will go down unless it gets healed by the opponent. But it deals major damage to the Lucario, so that is appreciated. Thank you. I guess would have liked that on Zangu, so it's not resistant, but that's still a good move. Weather Ball. First time I've ever actually seen Weather Ball be a rock move. Because Weather Ball becomes rock in Sandstorm, which means it's stab, which makes it 75 power. Double special attack to the Tango, so it's a 150 power Weather Ball. Zangus is gone. Heater is gone to the Sandstorm, unfortunately. But, Taranto is on the timer. But Lucario is under half HP, and the final two Pokemon of Van Grants are in there, so... Two of you want scenario with no reserves there. And Sync is at 44 HP and paralyzed. It's possible. We've seen comebacks already in this tournament. We've seen near comebacks in this tournament. And Reiner is on that timer. Any decent fighting move, especially close combat, even Focus Blast will deal heavy damage. Focus Blast less because of the special defense boost uh, from the Sandstorm, but... Really, Reiner just, Alka just doesn't want Reiner to get hit, obviously. Largo moves first, Sync will go last. This any turn could be its charge, improves special defense. So Alka's fine with that, it's a status move, it doesn't deal damage. Alka wants major moves into Reiner, or special attacks, His physical attacks are way weaker. No! Wait! Is that a tie? Because even with the halved physical attack, Apple, that's a tie! The red corner, that's a tie! Player, I guess that's better than Alka losing. The, the first tie of the tournament! Well. I'm not sure what the game would say. The Does the game give it away as a win or a tie? The result is a draw, yeah, because it didn't set up that the use. You, you can set up a rule that. The user of Explosion or self destruct would lose in that case, but... I would have really loved to see that happen normally, in the standard way. Um, to, I would have loved to see me win. I still haven't won. But, I did say, the loser of this match is searching to not go on. But they tied. And the thing is, in the format of... Um, In challenge, because I have the tournament brackets and everything like that on challenge. In round robin, you don't actually, you aren't actually allowed to give points to the different groups. It just counts who won the most matches. So this will basically for challenge anyway. Wait, no. This is bad because for challenge, this will count as a loss for both players technically because they just didn't win. And I put, set up the tournament in such a way that automatically the next brackets will be generated after all the group stages are done. Which means that, let's say Alka or Van Grens would move on because they win next round and Renz loses next round. Challenge might actually put the wrong person into the next round. you never seen how do they do a football World Cup group stages. Pretty sure that's exactly how it's set up here. Best to move on. However, I made it easier for myself, save myself a bit of work by, put it, uh, by making Challenge do the work. However, the problem is with setting group stages up on Challenge, it doesn't allow you to set up the points gained by people winning. You can't do three points for a win or one for a tie if you put a group stage like this. If I would have made separate tournaments for each group, I would have been able to do that. And then manually make the finals. Out of that, I didn't think about. In the tournament where ties aren't possible, this would have been fine. But this is something to consider for future tournaments. Because this just means that I will have to put up uh, separate tournaments for each group if I do this again. Which I think I might, because so far I'm really loving this Metronome tournament. 
Um, right, it may not in the end become a problem, but I do want to come up with a solution right now. If it turns out that Alka or Van Grans should have moved on, but because of the challenge system, they don't, then the single elimination brackets are basically not valid. However, I know that the order of the match, like, because I know that first one from A faces the second one from B, first one from C faces the second one from D, um, like, they face each other, and first one from A and second one from A are in different parts of the bracket. I could know, just by looking at the results from each of the individual groups, who faces who, and exactly what the order of matches would be and who faces who in single elimination. I know, I can know exactly, just by looking at the results from the groups, who faces who. So if the single elimination bracket is incorrect and I'm unable to alter it, because maybe I can alter things before that stage of the tournament starts up, I'll have to check how that system works. But if I can't alter things before that bracket is generated, when groups are done, and, it's in, and that bracket is incorrect, I'm going to consider that single elimination bracket invalid, not continue with it. Instead, make a separate tournament, or at least create a new tournament page on challenge for that communicate for um, that single elimination bracket where everyone does face the right person so that is um, how we're going to do that